I was supposed to go to Kyle tomorrow, um, but unfortunately I can't. We have more consultations tomorrow, um, so I think I'll go to Kyle next week. That's the that's the plan at this moment, unless something unforeseen takes place. So are you able to see how many persons, first and owners, have registered to receive land at the land department? Quite a lot, right. quite a lot, quite a lot. Um, it speaks to how much deprivation and how much um, inequity exists in this country where a handful of people have a lot of land and other people don't. And, um, you know, we, we, are, we welcome the fact that people want to sign up for land. We welcome the fact that so many of our people are coming forward to make us know that they don't have land and they need land. And we ask them for patience and for time as we try to find where exactly these lands are, are available. Our people um, in the ministry have been tasked with finding that out. I'm hoping to get a report over the next few days as to where exactly in the Belize district, the closest we can find to Belize city, lands exist. And we'll make that available um, freely and fairly to all those people who don't have land. Um, we've not been asking for any minister's letters. We stopped that so people can freely apply, but we beg of people to not congregate so much at the offices in such massive crowds because it's just not healthy. Over 300 people have died from COVID. Um, none of us are exempted or insulated from that. Um, hopefully by next week, we'll have an online opportunity where people can apply and don't have to go to the office. And we're also going to establish kind of a drop box system where you can pick up an application, fill it out and drop it back without having to stay in those long lines. We ask people, please, please be patient. Um, we're working overtime on that as a mandate of this government to make sure that we make lands available to first-time landowners. That's our absolute priority, and that's what we're going to deliver on.